It is do or die tonight in game two of the National League wildcard series against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona came into American Family Field last night and beat the Brewers six to three. Missed opportunities cost the Brew Crew game one of this series. But we are staying positive and fans hoping for a Brewers win tonight. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on TMJ4 News at 4. I'm Susan Kim, live from Health Fairfield outside American Family Field. We have live team coverage for you ahead of game two tonight. We're going to get to your game day forecast with our Brian Nisnanski and cheap ticket prices with our Jenna Ray in just a few minutes. But first, we begin with our Ashley Washburn, who is inside American Family Field for us right now. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Susan. You just said it best, but tonight is do or die for this Brewers team as they try to even out this wild card series against Arizona. They're finishing up batting practice right now behind me, and it's something that they're going to have to thrive at tonight as they face Diamondbacks ace Zach Gallen on the mound. It's going to be an uphill battle for them as they try to keep their season alive. It's playoff baseball. Um, you're going to get the best every day. That's why, you know, we want to be here. Um, but yeah, I mean, everybody that they're going to roll out is going to be good and, and elite. So just got to be ready for it. It starts in the first inning today. And A, you want to try to get good pitches to hit and uh, be ready to hit and, you know, really commit to a plan. And everybody's a little bit different. But I think at the end of the day, um, you know, he is a good pitcher. But uh, we feel like we're going to be able to put a plan together and hopefully have some success. Days like today are very clear, you know. So it's um, we we you put your backs up against the wall. It's it's uh, it's, it's win or go home, and and it's you, you have to play a good game to earn the next day. Um, and that you know that's to me it's a fun feeling, man. Put put me back again, up against the wall and put your best foot forward, play your best, um, and you get to play again. Like it's 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 a good way to do it. Gotta love that it's a fun feeling. It's a good mindset going into this game. Gallon is 2-0 against the Brewers this season, giving up only six hits and one run through 14 innings pitch. But he has had a couple of a clunker, you know, clunker games heading into this late season. Either way, it's going to be a tough matchup inside the box for the Brewers as they try to keep their postseason alive. Live at AmFam Field, Ashley Washburn, TMJ4 Sports. And it's not that the Brewers weren't hitting last night. I mean, they put a lot of hits on the board. They just couldn't get them when they needed them. That's exactly it. I mean, there were so many people that were left on base, so they've got to try to find a way to actually get those people to cross home plate. And part of that is base running. They definitely got caught on the bases a couple of times, which who knows if they could have been runs, but those could have been runs that won them the game. All right, Ashley, we'll see you a little bit later. Thanks so much. Former Brewers player, Nyler Morgan. Maybe you know him as T plush. He'll be throwing out the first pitch tonight at Amphan Field at 608. If necessary, Someone else will throw out the first pitch in game three. That would be tomorrow here in Milwaukee. And let us hope it is necessary at this point, Susan. I totally agree. Fans are saying the same thing. As always, fans are already in the parking lots here. Well ahead of game time, getting ready to have fun at the game. They're tailgating right now. Also Our Jenna Ray them. is out among the Brewers faithful. Yep. Hi, Jenna. Hey, Susan. Hey, Steve. We're out here in the parking lot. The tailgating is happening. As you can see, lots of fans. People were lined up about an hour before the game waiting to get into the parking lot. We've got people playing mini bags over here. We've got drinks being poured. We have the grills going. We have our grill master, Dave, over here. Let's see what we've got. We've got some brats cooking the good Wisconsin way. We love to see it. They've been out here for about an hour getting ready for the game ahead of things. Now, we've talked to a lot of people today, and the main thing that we're hearing from people is tickets were pretty cheap for today's game. So we went around checking a bunch of different places to see just how cheap you can get a Brewers ticket for tonight. Now, we checked several different sites today to see just how much tonight's game is going for on game time. You can get a ticket right now for $11, a little pricier, but on Ticketmaster, $6. $15. On SeatGeek, you're going to pay around $15 too. Now, we talked with the experts right here in Milwaukee, Ticket King, who's one of the only brick and mortar shops for resale tickets in the area. They say these playoff tickets are some of the cheapest tickets they've seen in a while. It's not normal. I mean, there have been some games that maybe have 
you know, through the years we've been in the playoffs where especially that wild card or whatever, um, where, you know, there's seats to be had and the market's lower than one would think, but this is historically the cheapest I've ever seen a playoff game, I'm just period. We've got just about two hours until first pitch, so still time to get those tickets if you guys need. Again, we've got some cheap options for you. Ticket King also a great place to find those tickets if you haven't already. Again, the tailgate is popping here. Susan, what's it like over there for you? <laughs> well, I can smell the tailgaters, that's for sure. The brats and the burgers smell really good no matter where you are in the ballpark and in the parking lot right now. Thanks so much, Jenna. Well, Brewers fans, if you are not coming out to the ballpark tonight and want to watch with other fans, Broken Bad Brewing Company in Walker's Point has a deal for the Brewers playoff run. So we went there today. The bar is empty right now after a busy night for game one. If you open a tab within the first 10 minutes of the first pitch tonight, and the Brewers end up throwing a shutout, Broken Bat will pick up your tab for the night. Owner Tim Polly is a lifelong baseball and Brewers fan and says he just wanted to do something fun for a game and team that he loves. Trying to create experiences and a fun environment to watch baseball. And if there is a shutout? Yeah, yeah, we'll comp it. Get your butt out of here. We close at 10 o'clock, but you'll go home with a full wallet and uh, hopefully a little... Uh, you know, brew win celebration with you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Well, Tim says, had the Brewers thrown a shutout last night, the bar's bill would have been more than $1,000. Either way, it is a big financial boost with last night's crowd about 30% bigger than a normal Tuesday night at Broken Bat Brewery. And Brian Nisnansky, talk about the weather here. It's overcast, it's a little breezy, and the roof is closed. We went in there earlier today, and it was kind of steamy in there with the roof closed this afternoon. I would imagine but 80 degrees out in the parking lot. Uh, that's got to feel pretty good right now. This is a live look towards American Family Field. And yeah, you can see the roof is closed. The panels are open in the back, hopefully allowing a little bit of air in there. Now there are small chances we get a couple little pop up showers to develop this evening, which is likely why the roof is closed and may stay closed. 80 degrees right now in Milwaukee, southwest wind at 13 miles per hour, a uh, little bit cooler to the west, 75 in Waukesha, 77 in Burlington, 80 degrees in Kenosha. You can probably get away with going to the game with short sleeves uh, this evening. I don't see it really getting too cool until after midnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Here's a look at the storm for max radar, and you can see there are a few showers that are developing out over Lake Michigan. Uh, as of right now, we are dry across southeastern Wisconsin, but what makes things tricky, if we do see a shower, it will likely develop pretty much on top of us. So again, there will be that small chance. If you're heading to the Brewers game tailgating, just keep in mind that very small chance. I think there's a much better chance you stay completely dry. First pitch at 608, 74, and by the seventh inning, 71 degrees. How's it going out there, Susan? Are you enjoying uh, all the tailgating going on? Yeah. Yeah, it's so fun and the energy and the fans are very positive about tonight's game. All right, so let's tell you the AmFam field is set for 608's first pitch tonight. If necessary, game three would then be here in Milwaukee once again tomorrow. Well, you know, you got to think you like what Craig Council had to say when he said he likes this feeling of having, you know, their backs up against the wall. It's kind of like that pressure situation. Some people perform their best when they're under pressure, Steve. And he's putting the same lineup out there tonight. He did yesterday shows he has confidence in the team he has assembled. Let's just hope tonight they can uh, swing the bat when it's timely. Susan, we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.